Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Um, if you watch the news this morning, you learned that there's a new Alzheimer's drug um, and it sounds really promising. And then they explain that it's, it's more uh, nuanced than that, more complex. But I, I thought of our members and friends who are living with Alzheimer's or are a caregiver for someone with Alzheimer's. Uh, there's a number in our congregation. There are those who have passed in recent years from Alzheimer's, uh, complications. And so thinking of you this morning, I, I pulled up a prayer that um, for the person with Alzheimer's, do not ask me to remember. Don't try to make me understand. Let me rest and know that you're with me. Kiss my cheek and hold my hand. I thought that was beautiful. But then also thinking of the person who's doing the caregiving, I, I went to the uh, website up for Alzheimer's, I looked for a prayer, and found this really helpful, I thought, uh, tips for caregivers, 12 steps for caregivers. Um, I'm going to put the link in uh, this morning's reflection so that if this interests you, you can find it. But again, I, I've, I offer this um, as a helpful piece this morning with the news that is both good and, hmm, uh, let's got, we got to pay attention. So first of all, take care of yourself so that you can continue doing the things that are most important. Simplify your lifestyle so that your time and energy are available for things that are really important at this time. Cultivate the gift of allowing others to help you because caring is a big job, too big for just one person. Take one day at a time rather than worry what, about what life will be like in the future. Have a sense of humor because laughter helps us put things in a positive perspective. Remember that my loved one is not being difficult on purpose, but rather the illness distorts emotions and behavior. Focus on whatever, what you and your uh, loved one still do together rather than lament constantly over what you cannot or what is gone. Increasingly depend upon others for love and support. Frequently remind yourself that you are doing the best you, very best you can at this moment. And lastly, draw upon the higher power which is available to all of us. Or in, as I would encourage us, call upon the God we know um, in community as the love of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit when we're gathered, whether we're home or in community. That's my prayer, and those are my uh, hopes for this day, and I do pray you have a grateful day. Bye.